I really hope that some news that does come out with some of these injuries is not true at all. I really hope not. Um, it looks like, and I'm, this is only speculation right now because this is what I'm hearing from rumors behind the scenes, is that Miles Sanders has a broken hand. Either a broken hand, fractured hand. I don't know. It got bandaged up. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, things like this does happen. I broke my hand in high school when I played football, so and I was wearing a glove, and I had no idea. I broke my hand after, like, probably 45 minutes. I didn't know. So, I mean, it could happen. Um, and with Jordan Howard, he could have another stinger injury. If you guys remember, end of the 2019 season, Jordan Howard had a stinger injury that kept him out for weeks. So I really hope to God, let me pray, because now you have, you're in contention to be in a wild card game and get into the wild card. You're in the seventh seed right now. Okay. You lose both of these backs. It's going to be really tough to, you know, try to have the same running style. Kenneth Gainwell and Boston Scott, you know, it's not Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders, one-two punch with sprinkling some of these other players in. You kind of have to change your whole game plan. I'm not saying they don't run the ball at all, but with Boston Scott, you, you know, you, you don't have Jordan Howard, you lose your bruiser back. You don't have Miles Sanders, you, don't, you lose your shifty back. But at the same time, Boston Scott, you know, he could, could catch out of the backfield. He can go out for passes. He could... Um, you know, you could, he gets to this, if you have good blocking for him, he gets to the second level, he can get some good speed, but it's not the same though. With you have Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders leading the charge. Okay. Uh, Jason Huntley's still on the roster. You don't really have any bruiser backs left. If Jordan Howard is out, I said to myself, if one of these guys is out, and one of them is coming back, I'd be totally fine. But because both these guys potentially could be out either the rest of the season or, Maybe they'll be, you know, if Sanders has a fractured hand, then he might be back by playoff time or back, you know, for the wild card game. But if not, I really don't know. I don't know. Losing both of these guys will be a huge loss. Um, and I couldn't believe it because I noticed that Jordan Howard's shoulder, he was kind of, you know, moving his shoulder and he couldn't really, you know, it was acting up on him. So. Um, he had that sting injury a couple years ago, and, you know, we really didn't play him at all. It took, I don't know how long it takes for a stinger injury. I know it's, it's something to do with the neck, you know, neck area to your shoulder, which isn't good. And then Miles Sanders, God, I really don't want to say he's hurt or injury prone. Or I'm trying not to get into that. I'm trying not to get into that feeling that he's injury prone or, you know, I don't want to say it. I don't want to believe that he's injury prone, but he's been getting hurt a lot. You know what I mean? He's been getting hurt a lot of times, and I'm trying to say he's not injury prone, but it's getting to that point where he's out way too many times, already twice this year. So, like I said, this is just speculation. Don't go crazy about it, but by today, tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, you might hear some bad news. Not sure. We'll see, and that's pretty much it, so. Guys, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.